I'm going to go straight into the quick entry tab here and I'm going to use the category code SPE. SPE is for specialty items, it's kind of a catch-all category and it fits the bill for many different items. The selector code I'm going to use is MISC. Then we've got the description here. I'm going to change that to Weber Gas Grill. I probably in real life would get more specific like how big it was or maybe a model number. Then the calculator field we have a one, yep, just need one grill. And then over in the unit price it is a zero. I'm going to click on the unit price and in the replace price I'm going to just type in $6.99. Left click OK and that's how you add a specialty item to an estimate. How about a bid item? Let's say we had a copper dormer roof that we had to go out and get a specific bid for. Well that roof is still in the category RFG because it's still a roofing item, but the selector code we don't have one for a copper dormer eyelid kind of thing. So we're going to use the selector code BID for bid. When you ty start typing in bid, it'll bring up the BIDITM selector code. That's the one that we want. I usually replace the description with copper dormer roof. Just change that description to whatever applies. I would take the copper roofing bid and I would put it in here to replace price $4,500 just as an example, and then left click OK. Now I would also submit that bid with my insurance supplement, correct? I'm not just going to send up a willy-nilly amount and expect them to pay it. I will have to back that up with a bid item. Same thing with the Weber Gas Grill. You would want to include the web address where you found that grill in your email to the insurance company along with the supporting paperwork. So that's how you can create your own items at Xactimate whenever you can't find one on the price list.